Hi, um, welcome to my blog. Uh, welcome to my first online iChat interview thing. Um, my fabulous sidekick right here, Tabitha Chapman, who you won't see on camera, uh, collected a whole bunch of questions for you guys that um, you were interested in asking me, so now I'm going to answer them. And I'll just read through and see which ones sound cool. So this one's from David, 1956, David Hayes. He asks, who in real life is closest to the characters in the show? Are you more like Clark or Martha or Chloe? And is Tom more like Lana? I don't know, fill the blanks for me. I think that if I had to choose somebody that I was the most like, it would be Chloe. Um, and I don't know if that's just because I've developed the character for seven years, or so I've ended up being her for over a third of my lifetime, or what it is, but um, I definitely feel like, especially now with the whole um, superpower and everything like that that I have, that she is probably the closest to me in reality as well. Although we do have a lot of differences. Chloe has much better work ethic than I do. What was the hardest, what was for you the hardest scene? I mean, emotionally, you had to shoot on Smallville. Um, I think I would break it down into seasons, and I definitely think that this season, the most challenging scene for me was in the season premiere, so everybody's seen it. And it was when I am sitting at the computer and I'm remembering Lana and I'm supposed to be crying, and Clark walks in and I say, I'm sorry, I, it's just so weird because one minute she was here and the next minute she's gone, and then I jump right into a whole exposition kind of plot-driven scene. And it was really challenging because I was supposed to start with really heavy emotion right off the top with nothing really to motivate it and then go into something that had nothing to do with the really heavy emotion that I was just talking about. And the funny thing is I kept, I, I felt very strange because everybody was watching me as I was trying to like make myself cry, which is always weird. And then I got up, so I got up and I went around the corner and then I was standing there by myself feeling very strange trying to make myself cry and having it not work. And so I actually just poked my head around the corner and said, um, it's like Tom. And so Tom kind of came around the corner with me and I said, I just need you to stand here with me. And he was like, okay. And he just sort of was looking at me and I just like grabbed his hand and just that connection to somebody else. It's really interesting. That I guess uh, the connection to another human being I found very grounding um, for me. And it was a lot easier for me to access something um, emotional that was more real. Um, and then, you know, start crying and then go out and the scene but it was really challenging and it was one of the first times in my career in a long time when I was gonna when I was kind of saying to myself like oh my god am I gonna be able to pull this off am I gonna be able to do this and for somebody that mixes up I mix up my own value as a human being so much with what I do that when I am approached with something as an actress that I it's possible that I can't do or I can't really deliver on the day I get very very scared and so just the thought of that actually gets me emotional which then gets me into the scene so it's a nice little trick I play for myself but not a very pleasant thing to believe. Anyway. Yay. Okay, so Tabby told me that you guys have been requesting um, me singing for a little while. So I'm singing. So here's the singing, and this is my friend Greg, and he's recording it. Howdy. He's fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> Ready? And begin. The very thought of you And I forget to do the little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. I'm living in a kind of daydream. I'm happy as a king and foolish, though it may seem to me that's everything. The mere idea of you, the longing here for you, you'll never know how slow the moments go till I'm near to you. I see your face in every flower, your eyes and stars above. It's just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. Would you ever consider shaving your head for charity or an acting role? Yes. I'm constantly looking for an excuse to shave my head. In fact, I was kept saying when I was like feeling super defiant and angry at Smallville, because I do that sometimes, it's a little ridiculous. Um, I was like, I'm just going to shave my head and travel the world once Smallville's done. They'll see. 
I'll just shave my head and do whatever I want. Because we have lots of hair issues on Smallville. They get very stressed out about us cutting our hair. Um, when you go to cinema, in what film you said I would have liked to play this role? I like the grammar in that sentence. Um, oh my God, I'm saying that all the time. There's so many movies that I see that I just think that I would die to be in that movie. Um, I would have loved to have been Amelie. If there was an American version of Amelie, I would have loved to have played Amelie. Um, something like, uh, I would have loved to have been in Lost in Translation. Oh, Eternal Sension of the Spotless Mind, Kate, Winslet's, Kate Winslet's character. You know what, any Kate Winslet role I would love to sink my teeth into. Um, I think it would have been really fun to play the part that Elizabeth, Elizabeth I think is that the character's name, in Pirates of the Caribbean. She's pretty feisty and cool and fun. I would have liked to have sunk my teeth into that. Um, Rosalind and As You Like It, that's a Shakespeare play that I'm dying to do, although uh, I haven't actually gotten through the entire play yet, and it's not being made into a movie. So once I finish the play, I'll let you know if that's still the way I feel. And if it ever gets made into a movie, I'm going to fight tooth and nail to play that part. Um, yeah, stuff like that. I like really strong, feisty women, and I think it's because I'm afraid of being weak. <laughs> Uh, when, what do you like to splurge on or indulge in when you're in need of some pampering? Chocolate. Mint chocolate chip with dark chocolate. Mm, enough said. Uh, uh, what would a day in the life of Alice and Mac be like from getting out of bed to going to bed, either when you have to go on set or when you have a day off? Really? Not that exciting. No, I like to pack my days full of stuff. I don't like to sit still very much. It warrants too much thinking. Um, <laughs> so usually I get up really early. I'm an early riser. So I like to get up around 5.30 or 6 and uh, go to the gym or go for a run or go to yoga. There's a beautiful yoga class every morning at 7. Um, and then I go uh, either meet friends for coffee, go for a walk, go for a bike ride, take my dog to the park. Uh, and then I usually uh, have some sort of an art artistic activity plan planned for the evening. I've got a couple of things in development right now with some different friends, so I, I work with them on either a short film or a script or a play or whatever it is that I'm putting together on offset of Smallville. Um, I've been spending a lot of time on set just shadowing directors, trying to prepare myself for directing, so a lot of time just watching, sitting in on meetings, things like that. And then in the evenings I usually have a fantastic dinner, either that my boyfriend's cooked or that we go out and eat because I'm a total foodie. And then, um, and then I'm in bed by like about midnight or one. By the end of that, I'm usually passed out. So my day consists of a lot. I could take you through like a specific day, but that's generally usually what my days look like. As far as work is concerned, it's get up in the morning, go to the gym, and go to work. <laughs> Spend all day just sitting on set, hanging out with everybody. And then home, dinner, bed, sometimes movie. Anyway, that's it. The very thought of you and I forget to do the little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. I'm living in a kind of daydream. I'm happy as a king and foolish. Though it may seem to me that's everything The mere idea of you The longing here for you You'll never know how slow the moments go Till I'm near to you I see your It's just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. Stop. Yay. How's that? That was great. That was all right? Yeah.